Well, even though this storm is long gone, there is still trouble in the mountains. More than a foot of snow fell in some areas and it's causing some road closures. Fox 31's problem solver, Shaul Turner, is in Morrison with how it could affect the travel this week. Shaul? Okay, you just saw one of those big plows go by. Out here, you can see I-70, things moving very smoothly. Big props to CDOT, but across this lot here, take a look at all of this snow. CDOT continues to keep an eye on any avalanche risk in the high country. These lots are now being cleared, as you just saw, but many skiers are out here tonight still digging out. It's crazy. But Tourists, commuters getting ready for the week ahead. I was just shoveling so my daughter and her friends can get in this car and head home. There we go. They're coping with all of this snow. CDOT closed Berthoud Pass overnight to do maintenance and a safety check. Crews remain ready for the next storm. We have about 114 plows out 24-7. Most agree we need all of that snow. We always need the water out here, so I'm glad it came down. And it means healthy revenues for ski resorts. Here's a look at Loveland Ski Area, which got a foot of snow within 48 hours. The resort opened a new lift last month. Beautiful powder. Keystone, Breckenridge, and other resorts will also see huge crowds this month. Went up to Steamboat and then Arapahoe Basin for the weekend. I have the Icon Pass, so I go up to like Winter Park, Steamboat, Copper Mountain. Colorado snowstorms can leave behind a win-win situation for everyone even those who are still digging out from all of this. Well, it ended up being a good day in the mountains snowboarding, so we had a lot of fun. <laughs> great timing. <laughs> the plows are doing a great job up here in this lot. And remember that CDOT says the number one reason for any delays on the road, usually truckers who are not chaining up or drivers who don't have tires that are suitable for this season. So make sure you take good care of your car, check driving conditions before you head up to the high country. But ahead of the next storm, make sure you're just ready because we got snow in Colorado, if you haven't heard. Shaul Turner reporting live in Morrison, Fox 31.